Welcome to the exciting realm of 3D printing construction. As we stand on the cusp of 2024, the anticipation for dynamic growth in this groundbreaking sector is palpable. 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, has already made waves across various industries, from prototyping to aerospace. However, its potential within the realm of construction is perhaps the most tantalizing. By harnessing the power of layer-by-layer -layer deposition, 3D printing offers unparalleled advantages in customization, efficiency, and sustainability. Imagine buildings with intricately designed features tailored to specific needs, all achieved with reduced time, cost, and environmental impact. The future of 3D printing in construction is indeed bright, with market forecasts predicting exponential growth in the coming years. As we embark on this journey, let us embrace the endless possibilities and shape a future where innovation knows no bounds. Welcome to the dawn of a new era in construction technology. Will the 3D printing construction market experience dynamic growth in 2024? 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, is a technology that creates objects by depositing layers of material on top of each other. 3D printing has been widely used for various applications, such as prototyping, product development, medical devices, aerospace, and art. However, one of the most promising and emerging fields for 3D printing is construction. 3D printing in construction refers to using 3D printers to create building structures, components, or models. 3D printing in construction can offer many benefits, such as Customization 3D printing can create complex and unique shapes that are difficult or impossible to achieve with traditional methods. 3D printing can also allow for personalization and adaptation of designs according to the customer's or the environment's needs and preferences. Efficiency 3D printing can reduce the time, cost, and waste involved in construction. 3D printing can automate the fabrication process and eliminate the need for molds, forms, or scaffolding. 3D printing can also use less material and energy than conventional methods, as well as recycle the excess material. Sustainability 3D printing can contribute to the environmental and social aspects of construction. 3D printing can use renewable or recycled materials such as bioplastics, concrete, or metal. 3D printing can also reduce the carbon footprint and the transportation and logistics costs of construction. 3D printing can also create affordable and accessible housing solutions for low-income or disaster-stricken areas. What is the future of 3D printing in construction market size in 2024? The construction industry has always been at the forefront of innovation, and the advent of 3D printing technology has opened up new dimensions in the way we build structures. As we approach the year 2024, the 3D printing construction market is poised for unprecedented growth, reshaping the landscape of the industry. The 3D printing construction industry is segmented into two primary end-use sectors, building and infrastructure. The building sector is anticipated to experience the most substantial growth in the foreseeable future. The market for 3D printing construction is expected to thrive across various end-use sectors, driven by increasing demand for desirable properties and advantages, such as superior durability, high thermal stability, cost-effectiveness, and time-saving. According to a recent study by Markets & Markets, the 3D printing construction market, with a valuation of USD 3 million in 2019, is anticipated to achieve substantial growth, reaching USD 1, 575 million by 2024 at a remarkable compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 245.9% from 2019 to 2024. Also, according to Allied Market Research, the global 3D printing construction market size will grow a lot and reach $750.8 billion by 2031 with an average yearly growth rate of 87.3% from 2022 to 2031. Europe stands as a key player in the 3D printing construction markets, propelled by increasing demand from the building and infrastructure sectors. The region boasts the presence of manufacturers specializing in 3D printing construction. Notably, Russia holds a substantial share in the global 3D printing construction market and is poised for significant growth in the forecast period. To cope with escalating demand and competition, players in Europe's construction industry have embraced diverse methodologies. Activities such as the installation and maintenance of construction machinery, along with the development of software, are predominantly undertaken in the construction sector throughout Europe. Sector through methods and tools for 3D printing in construction. 
The 3D printing construction sector comprises three primary construction methods, extrusion, powder bonding, and additive welding. Among these, the extrusion construction method holds a dominant position in the 3D printing construction market. This dominance is attributed to the extrusion method's capability to manufacture large-scale building components with intricate geometries coupled with its utilization of conventional construction materials. Extrusion This method involves a robotic arm that extrudes concrete, plastic, or metal while moving back and forth. Extrusion is useful for creating walls, columns, or beams in a layer-by-layer -layer fashion. Extrusion is one of the most widely used and developed methods for 3D printing in construction, as it is relatively simple, fast, and cheap. Some examples of extrusion-based 3D printing projects are the Office of the Future in Dubai, the 3D printed mansion in China, and the 3D printed hotel in the Philippines. Powder Binding This method involves the solidification of powder layers to create the desired object. Powder binding can use different types of materials, such as sand, gypsum, or cement. Powder binding is useful for creating intricate and detailed shapes, such as sculptures, ornaments, or furniture. Powder binding is also more accurate and precise than extrusion, as it can create finer and smoother surfaces. Some examples of powder binding-based 3D printing projects are the 3D printed canal house in Amsterdam, the 3D printed castle in Minnesota, and the 3D printed pavilion in Shanghai. Additive welding. This method involves the fusion of metal wires or rods to create the desired object. Additive welding can use different types of metals, such as steel, aluminum, or titanium. Additive welding is useful for creating strong and durable structures, such as bridges, towers, or frames. Additive welding is also more flexible and versatile than extrusion or powder binding, as it can create curved and complex shapes. Some examples of additive welding-based 3D printing projects are the 3D printed bridge in Amsterdam, the 3D printed steel structure in Singapore, and the 3D printed metal facade in Germany. Challenges and Barriers Adoption of 3D Printing in Construction Technical Issues 3D printing in construction still faces some technical limitations, such as the quality, durability, and accuracy of the printed structures. 3D printing also requires high performance and reliable machines, materials, and software, which are not always available or affordable. 3D printing also needs to comply with the building codes and standards, which may vary from country to country or region to region. Non-technical issues 3D printing in construction also encounters some non-technical challenges, such as the lack of awareness, knowledge, and skills among the construction stakeholders. 3D printing also requires a change in the mindset and culture of the construction industry, which is often resistant to innovation and new technologies. 3D printing also faces some legal, ethical, and social implications, such as intellectual property rights, safety and security risks, and the impact on the labor market and the local communities. To overcome these challenges and to promote the development and implementation of 3D printing in construction, it is necessary to conduct more research and development, provide more education and training, establish more collaboration and communication, and create more regulations and policies. Conclusion In conclusion, 3D printing in construction is a disruptive and revolutionary technology that has the potential to transform the way we design, build, and live. 3D printing in construction can offer many advantages, such as customization, efficiency, and sustainability. But it also faces many challenges, such as technical issues, non-technical issues, and competition. To realize the full potential of 3D printing in construction, it is important to keep up with the latest technologies, to overcome the existing barriers, and to explore the future opportunities. 3D printing in construction is not just a trend, but a reality that is here to stay and to grow. Thank you for watching.